Hi, welcome to this tutorial from tvtrade.ie. Uh, in this video we're going to show you how to use um, a VGA kit to uh, output the sound and video from your laptop or PC to your TV, okay? So for this um, tutorial we're going to need several things, okay? The first thing is obviously a laptop or a computer. The second thing is a TV. The TV must have either a VGA input on it or a... Um, it be, might be called a PC input, okay? Um, you're going to need some sort of home cinema sound system as well, okay? So just to deal with the connections, okay? The reason uh, we're going to need two cables to do this that is that if you only use a VGA to VGA cable, it's only going to input or output the picture, okay? If you want the sound, you're going to need a different cable. Um, so if you were watching something on the likes of YouTube or something like that, um, you know, obviously you'd probably want the sound, okay? So the first thing we'll look at is the actual VGA to VGA cable. Here it is now. Um, it's a 15 pin cable and it looks something like that. It could be a different colour or whatever. Sometimes the connection on the end up around here might be blue. Something like that. Or the actual plastic. Okay? And it's male. Okay? And it'll be the exact same on both ends. The second cable we need um, is an adapter cable that adapts a 3.5 mil audio jack to an RCA okay so this is what the 3.5 mil connection looks like and this will go into any standard sound card on a PC or laptop okay and the other end looks something like this now it may be red and white that would be the traditional one but the one I've just grabbed here is actually red and black but red will go to red and white will go to white but in this case the black would go to white um, as regards the audio in your sound system, okay? So there are the two types of cables we need. So we're going to deal with the connections in the laptop now, okay? So the first thing we're going to look at is, you're going to look at, look for this one here. It has a little headphone symbol on it and it's a 3.5 mil female jack, okay? And what we're going to do here is simply, we're going to simply Put the 3.5 mil end into that okay so easy peasy okay now the second thing we're going to deal with is the picture from the laptop okay so I'm just going to turn it around here a little bit and what you're going to see here is you're looking for a VGA connection and that's it there okay now it may be on the back or it may be on the side. Traditionally these days they're usually on the side. Okay, so it'll be a 15 pin female version of it. And what we're going to do then is we're going to just simply get our connection and put it in the side. Okay, and that's it. Easy peasy. Okay, so now what you're looking for on the back of the TV, now I don't know how easy this will be to show and I have it pre-connected already is you're looking for a similar VGA connection on the back okay now I'm just going to try and reach in here and show you this I have it pre-connected already and there it is and just screw it in okay it'll usually be marked VGA or PC on your TV if it's available okay so that's basically that now the next thing you're going to do is how am I going to get the sound? Well, you're going to use these cables here, okay? The RCA ones. Now, by hooking these up to your TV, it's not going to work because you're probably going to have to put them into the RCA input. But because you're going to be using the VGA or the PC channel on your TV, the sound isn't going to come through. So what you want to do is, you can do it two ways. Um, the first way is you can actually... Um, you could just simply let the sound play on your laptop and not use this cable at all. Or, what you could do is you could hook it up to your sound system. Okay, now I have one here. I just have it on its side. And we're going to use the analog input. Okay, I don't know if you can make that out, the analog one, but it's the RCA anyway, and it's red and white. Okay, so the red will go into the red and the white will go into the white but um, in this case yeah it's just the cable I'm using I'm just using the black ones okay so that's fair enough so that's easy peasy now so the next thing you do is you come back to your 
you come back to your laptop so you know just a bit of glare on the screen there now I'm just going to I just had the sound system on its side there just for a second so now the next thing we're going to do is you're going to play whatever video you're looking for okay so I'll just start it off playing there anyway so okay. just to this test it out okay I'm going to put that on the wrong channel there now okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to output the sound or the picture I should say from my laptop to the TV and it gives me a little menu like this now this is on Windows 7 that I'm doing this okay there'll be settings on every sort of computer if you go into the control panel and display to do this but this is just a shortcut and I'm going to duplicate it here okay now I'm just going to grab my TV remote control and we're just waiting for it to come up there now okay so I've nothing on the screen there at the moment so I'm going to hit the source button on this TV and it's extension 1 extension 2 and I'm on the PC channel and you can see there now I have a duplication of my screen okay the problem now is the video is actually playing okay you can see the time going on there but I've no sound okay now I have it hooked up to my sound system so why isn't it working so the next thing to look at is your sound system I'm just going to shed a bit of light on the subject here as to say and what you want to look at is hopefully it'll show up okay is the input now on mine I have digital optical digital coaxial and I have a separate analog one now I know it's connected to the analog so what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to change the input using the input button here there's probably if you have a remote with your sound system you can use that either but I'm just going to change the input three or four and why this is so simple is that once you have and there it is that's the sound coming out of my TV well not coming out of my TV but coming out of my sound system okay and that's it uh, it's as easy as that and you can watch the likes of Netflix YouTube any sort of videos whatever uh, from your laptop and um, you can even watch DVDs or Blu-rays if you want um, and it's as easy as that okay